There he is, you can hear the crowd. He is one of the big attractions, Johnny Peacock. And Longo, seventh in the World Championships back in 2015. He'll go from lane two. Mikel Setis of Greece, bronze of the 2016 European Championships. Johnny Peacock, double Paralympic champion. Didn't race in Doha two years ago due to injury. 10.64 when he won his heat earlier. Outside him, Jared Wallace also won his heat. Season best of 10.82, lifetime best of 10.71. Johannes Flaws will go from Germany. Bronze medalist at the European Championships as well. Here's a man who might cause a few problems, Arno Fauré. Silver in 2013, Leon fourth last year. 11-13 in his heat, coming second to Jared Wallace. And this man, Zeran Singleton. Well, he was the winner back in 2011 in Christchurch. Has he got enough six years later to come up with something special? And Andrea Lamfrey of Italy will go from lane nine. No Richard Brown, who won this event in Doha when that man wasn't there two years ago. Richard Brown, on that occasion, broke the world record, which still stands at 10.61. I do expect something very, very big here. Peacock and Wallace, very good friends off the track. Not so much on it. So Malongo in two, Cetus in three, Peacock in four, Wallace in five, Floors in six, 4A in seven, Singleton in eight, and Lamfrey in nine. Oh. And they all get away straight off. Johnny Peacock is off a bit slower than Jared Wallace, but Johnny Peacock has got the measure of Jared Wallace. Johnny Peacock, that is a very fast time. What's it going to be? 10-7-6. He misses out on the world record and the championship record, but he does win ahead of Jared Wallace. Well, that was a very fast one indeed. I actually thought it was going to be a lot quicker than that. Jared Wallace gives him the congratulations. And Johnny Peacock there goes across and it's Johan Flores from Germany who's picked up second place at a time of 10.89 and he's just picked Jared Wallace. Well, what a finish there from the German. But Johnny Peacock, he got away slightly slower than Jared Wallace. He did that in his head as well. But he picked up in that middle 20 or 30 metres and really powered home. But what a race from that man, Johan Flores to pick up a silver medal. We weren't expecting that, perhaps. We thought it was going to be between Peacock and Wallace, Vanessa Lowe. But Johan Claus of Germany, he came home well. And Johnny Peacock with a win, though. Four guys have gone under 11 seconds uh, this season, so it's, it was going to be a rough race. But Pro Johnny Peacock is really famous for performing well when it counts, and he did today again, so gold for Johnny Peacock. Well, yeah, it's flaws, and with around 30 metres to go, he's a good four or five metres behind Jared Wallace, but he really put in a lot of effort. Kept his form, kept his technique. And when we talk about that, we can talk about this man. Overwhelming favourite coming into it. Loves running here at this stadium. Talked about it before these championships at a press conference that it really gives him added motivation. First came onto the scene, made a note for himself in 2012 at this exact venue. And he hasn't disappointed this big crowd this evening on day three of these championships. You saw Jared Wallace jump there. Jerem Singleton got a way out wide as well, but he just fell off after about the 50 metre mark. And just look at the man in the yellow, white and black on the inside there. Johan Flores, look at that finish. Fantastic. As Peacock takes the plaudits of this big crowd at London's Olympic Stadium.
Those pictures will adorn the back pages of the newspapers tomorrow. Social media this evening. There's Johnny Peacock in a time of...